been here before. What does it feel? What what feels different this time around? It's rainy, or well, it's actually not rainy. There's sun over there, but it's been very rainy. We're tented. That seems new. Um, I don't know. It's been a few years. We there was one pandemic here, and then three years of actually making this movie. So it's been four years since we even had a movie. So I'm just excited to be back to have a movie out there. Hopefully, people are seeing it, Babylon, and to be back here because it's a fun night. And Babylon has tons of nominations tonight. What do you think it is about the film that connected with people so much? I mean, there's a lot in the film. There are a lot of different angles. There's a, there's a relationship that might remind some people of relationships they've had. There's a theme about, you know, time moving on and you have your moments and then things change, but you get to be a part of something bigger if you're lucky. There are a lot of different themes and parts of it. It's also, the movie is every, it's a comedy and then it's a tragedy, and it's a horror movie and it's a battlefield movie. It's like so many things. So I think there are a lot of things for people to connect to and enjoy. And you personally, you have a long career of doing incredible music scoring. You've done La La Land, you've done Whiplash, now it's Babylon. How do you get into the mindset to create a musical world within all these different films? That's a good question. I mean, just try to start by talking to Damien. We always just talk at the beginning. We talk about what we want to feel, what we want to feel from it. So the words on this one were wild, unhinged, a party, there's a lot of other kinds, there's orchestral music and there's a lot of other kinds of things, but that's where we started, because that's kind of the heart of this movie, you know, a series of very unhinged, hedonistic parties. That's amazing, and then how do you, like from there, then you just kind of play around and you just see what sticks, you try out different, you know, I'm guessing it's just any other regular music process where you're just trying things out in the studio or in the on the piano or wherever it is. Exactly. Trying things, throwing them out, trying it, throwing it out. We throw a lot out. We're just very ruthless with ourselves, going through a lot of versions. This was a three-year process for me. Uh, three years from, you know, the first demos till mix through mixing. So there was a lot of rethinking of stuff. And, you know, the pandemic delayed it, which gave us more time to... It happened on La La Land, too. We were ready to shoot it, and then it del got delayed. So we were like, what do we do with this extra time? We go back to the drawing board. We throw out a bunch of stuff that we liked, but we're like, well, if we have more time, let's rethink a few things. So it always ends up being kind of a blessing when you get that extra time. How do you avoid ear exhaustion? Like, I can't imagine sitting, listening to the same things over and over. How do you avoid that? That's a good question. I move on to something else and come back, I guess, if you start to burn yourself out on your own music. Makes sense. And if you win tonight... What is your celebration song? Celebration song? I, 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 I don't know. Is there a song celebrate? Like an 80s song celebrate? Yeah, like celebrate good times. Come on. That'll be my song. <laughs>